Hey, welcome to EPN. My name is Victor Lucas, and we bring you the latest in everything cool every single day. Thanks to viewers and sponsors just like you. Thank you so much for your support. It means everything to us. Today's rundown is going out to JBJ Blaze, who has been a big vocal supporter of EPN, and now he's a sponsor, and we thank you for your support, sir. This rundown is all yours. It looks like we'll probably be getting Borderlands 3 next year. With developer Gearbox Software hinting several times that a new Borderlands game is in the works, many are wondering when it will finally be officially announced. Now it looks like we'll be getting a look very soon. Take-Two Interactive, the parent company of Borderlands publisher 2K Games, has revealed that they have at least one big unannounced 2K title coming in 2018, and it's part of one of their established franchises. Borderlands is pretty much the only big 2K franchise that doesn't have an announced game coming next year, so that would be our guess. You wanna go back? Huh? It could also be another Bioshock entry, although Borderlands seems more likely just because Gearbox has been hinting that a new one is on the way. We'll let you know when it's officially announced. There's an evidence flow to it all. Take-Two is also publishing another massive sequel, Red Dead Redemption 2, through their other subsidiary, Rockstar. That rides into town in spring 2018, but you knew that already. And another hit video game franchise is about to get a killer sequel of its own. Hitman developer IO Interactive has offered new hints and details about their next big game in the franchise. In an open letter to fans, IO CEO Haken Abra confirms that they are indeed working on a new Hitman game and they're making great progress. He also says that they're going to introduce new features that will be franchise firsts, but we'll have to wait a little longer to find out more. Abrak predicts that they'll be able to officially unveil the new Hitman game sometime in 2018, so don't expect anything new until then. This is good news, especially given the recent financial trouble that almost killed the studio. IO Interactive was recently dropped by their former parent company Square Enix, but thankfully they were able to find new investors that has allowed them to continue as an independent studio, and best of all, they still own the rights to the Hitman franchise. They haven't said if the new game will be published independently or if they'll partner with a bigger studio. We'll let you know when more details come in. In the meantime, they've just released a new Game of the Year edition of the latest Hitman, which is out now on the PS4, PC, and Xbox One. It's been a while since we've talked about Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, so here's an update. The insanely popular Battle Royale game has now sold 20 million copies worldwide. That's according to Player Unknown himself, Brendan Green, who revealed the milestone on Twitter in an apparent excuse to take advantage of the site's new 280 character limit. He says that they passed the 20 million mark over the weekend and adds that they're still working on the various technical issues with the game. It is still in early access, after all. Green didn't say if the 20 million copies include sales on both the PC and Xbox One. The Xbox version recently began taking pre-orders in preparation for its December 12th launch. Expect the sales to keep going up when the final version of the game is released. Netflix has taken its first steps into the strange new world of comic book publishing. The streaming giant has unveiled the first comic book that they're publishing thanks to their recent acquisition of Mark Miller's comic book company, Miller World. As you can see, the book is called The Magic Order and is written by Miller and drawn by Olivier Coipel, best known for his work on Marvel comics like Thor. The Magic Order will tell the story of a secretive group of magicians who protect our world from monsters and will consist of six issues, the first of which arrives in spring 2018. It will be available digitally, obviously, and Netflix will also publish paper comics in stores, which is a first for the company. This is part of their strategy to embrace more forms of entertainment, just like a movie studio, so expect more comics from them and Miller World soon. It should also come as no surprise if Netflix adapted their Miller World comics into TV shows or movies. Sorry, Wonder Woman, it looks like Steven Spielberg, Tom Hanks, and Meryl Streep are going to win all the Oscars this year. Take a look at the first trailer for the new political drama, The Post, the latest film directed by Spielberg. It stars Meryl Streep and Tom Hanks as the heads of the Washington Post and chronicles how in 1971 they published the top secret Pentagon Papers detailing U.S. government corruption and lies surrounding the Vietnam War. Is that legal? What is it you think we do here for a living, kid? It was a huge controversy when it happened. It led to a massive legal battle between The Post and the U.S. government over free speech and the importance of journalism, something that seems even more relevant today. With the trifecta of Spielberg, Hanks, and Streep, the film will likely be the biggest contender come awards season, and it's hitting theaters at exactly the right time, December 22nd. This isn't the only new movie from Steven Spielberg. The notoriously fast-working director has Ready Player One hitting theaters just three months later in March 2018. After that, he's directing the new Indiana Jones movie, which arrives in 2020. 
If you're still getting used to the PS4 and the Xbox One, you'll be happy to know that the next generation of consoles is still a few years away. With the PS4 and Xbox One having launched in 2013 and the new 4K versions having just arrived, many are wondering when the next full-fledged console generation will be here. Someone who can probably give a good guess is Ubisoft CEO Yves Guillemot. In a recent call with investors, Guillemot predicts that the next major console releases are at a minimum two years away. He adds that Ubisoft doesn't have any concrete information about what Sony and Microsoft are planning to do, but given that third-party publishers like Ubisoft are crucial to the success of a new system, his prediction is probably going to be pretty accurate. A 2019 release for the PS5 or Xbox 4 would be in keeping with previous hardware release cycles. It would also give game makers and consumers plenty of time to get used to the new 4K PS4 Pro and Xbox One X before they're replaced. What do you think? Does 2019 sound like a reasonable time frame for a new console generation? Give us your thoughts in the comments below. And that wraps us up for the rundown today. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back again tomorrow with a brand new episode. And in the meantime, we've got tons of content for you to check out. If you dig it, hit subscribe, that little bell. And if you're so inclined, that sponsorship button too.